Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 19 in this series and is entitled Inheritance in Java. Inheritance is an OOP concept that involves a child class, the subclass, inheriting all the methods and fields of its parent class or the superclass. The idea is if we want to create a new class and there is already a class that contains most of the methods and fields that we want for the new class, then we can make that existing class the parent of the new class. We can then add the other methods and fields that we want for a new class. This saves us time by reusing fields and methods of an existing class, the parent class. Looking at the example, there are two classes here, the animal and the mammal. But notice the extends animal present class mammal. That means it is declaring the animal class as its parent class and therefore inherits all the fields and methods of animal class, except for its constructor. But there's a way to call the constructor of the superclass, and we will see how it's done later. So let's proceed with our activity number 38, where we'll create a Java project called Inheritance Sample that has a superclass called Saudi National and a subclass called Saudi Student. The fields for the Saudi national are the national ID, which is a string, and insurance and stipend, which are integers. Its methods are set national ID, set insurance, and set stipend that will change the values. And the fourth method is the display details. The fields for the Saudi student subclass are all from the parent plus student ID, which is a string, and allowance. Its methods are all from the parent class plus set student ID, set allowance, and display additional student details. At the end, we're going to instantiate Saudi student in main method with initial values SID 2100, 1500, NID 1990, 100 for the national ID, 100,000 for the insurance, and 20,000 for the stipend. And then we will display all the details. Our inputs will be the values declared during the instantiation of class student. Our output will be the details of the Saudi student. Uh, for the process, we will create a Saudi national class with three fields and four methods. We will next create a Saudi student class that extends the Saudi national class. To call the parents constructor, we will use the super command. We will declare also in this class two more fields and three more methods. In inheritance sample class, we will instantiate Saudi student class and display all the details. We'll call this project inheritance sample. Inheritance sample. Now, right click the package. Don't do anything yet with inheritance sample. Uh, select new Java class. We're going to create first the class Saudi national. Uh, now, this class has three fields, right? Uh, we're going to declare all of them public. One is string for the national ID and two are integers for the insurance and the other one is stipend. Now we're going to make it a constructor. The constructor's name of course is the name also of the class. So it's Saudi national. We're going to put five arguments here sorry three arguments one is for the national ID let's put it initial national ID the second variable is integer uh, for the initial insurance and the third one is another integer for the initial stipend okay all it all we're going to do here is to set the fields to the values of the arguments in it national id uh, insurance is equal to init insurance and stipend equal to init stipend okay now we can do the four methods all of them are void we'll start with uh, changing the national id We'll call it set national ID. It's a string. We'll call the argument new value. And all it will do is to change the national ID according to the new value. The rest is the same, so I'll try to copy this one. 
control C control B control B control B okay this one is to set the insurance so we're trying to change the value of the insurance this one is for the stipend should be integer above also it should be integer and this one is for the stipend the last one is to the dis to display the details so there should be no argument here and what we're going to do is to display the info using system that out that print line will start with the national ID and we'll concatenate it with the value of national ID just copy we're good at copying <laughs> now the second one is for the insurance related insurance and the third one is for the stipend for the stipend so this is one is insurance this one is stipend okay the last is time now we're going to create another class for the Saudi student Let's call it Saudi student so what's different is that we're going to extend the Saudi national class the parent class um, but we're going to add here two more fields the student ID which is also string and the allowance which is an integer okay now we can create the constructor of course the constructor's name is the same as our class and here we're going to have five parameters let's call it init student ID for the initial student ID uh, another is the init allowance for the initial allowance and the three are from the parent class the national ID init national ID the insurance init insurance and the stipend init stipend okay so to to call the constructor of the parent class we're going to use the super statement and then we'll pass here the three arguments from the parent class init national id init insurance and init stipend then we're going to set the values for the student id is equal to init student id and the allowance equal to init student init allowance okay we're done with the constructor now we can do the methods I'll just copy from the Saudi National to make it easier for us and go back to the Saudi student class okay the first one is to set the 
allowance okay this now is the allowance and another one to change the student ID void set student ID this time it's a string this is for the student ID and the last one is to display additional student details we'll display the student ID and the uh, allowance we don't need the other one okay class now we'll go back to inheritance sample and we're going to instantiate the object sorry the class Saudi student let's call it student is equal to a new Saudi student and now we have to put the values uh, from the problem from the activity SID this is for the student ID twenty zero zero one hundred the second argument is for the allowance one thousand five hundred the third is for the national ID and ID nineteen ninety one hundred uh, the next one is for the insurance one hundred one hundred thousand and the last one is for the stipend twenty thousand okay now the name of the object is student if I put that you can see here five fields so that's a combination of the fields from the parent and the uh, ch child class you can also here see display additional details set allowance and set student ID which are methods from the student uh, <coughs> Saudi student class the subclass and not in bold but you can still see display details set insurance set national ID and set I stipend from the parent class from the Saudi national so what we need is to display the details that's from the parent class and another additional details now we can run it so here is our output uh, the first three lines are results of the first method display details from the parent class Saudi national and the other two lines student ID and allowance are results from the display additional student details which is a method from the Saudi student class okay I don't think we have still enough time for another activity so I hope you've learned uh, inheritance about Java thank you for taking the time to watch this video Masalama.